So this is literally everything you need. So headphones, iPad Pro, adapter, interface, bass, cords, that's it. So I'll show you exactly how simple it is to record your bass while you're traveling and only with an iPad. So here's the setup. First you need an iPad Pro. I think this is a 2020 version with the USB-C. Then you need an adapter. The adapter goes into the iPad Pro and I'll show you exactly why you need this. This is a hyperdrive. All the links is gonna be in the description for all of this stuff anyway. You need this and this actually doubles too. I can use this for my MacBook, uh, 2022 MacBook with the USB-C. Then you need the interface. So the adapter plugs into the iPad just like that and the iPad powers this adapter. Then you plug the interface into the USB a of the adapter like that and that's what the red cord was for to plug in the interface so now this powers this then you need a pair of headphones uh, i like these headphones a lot they're pretty decent um, they double as wireless bluetooth headphones as well but they come with a cord i'll put all the links in the description like i said before uh, anyway so you plug this into the interface like this so you can monitor what you hear Last but not least, take your patch cable and plug one end of it into the interface like that and then plug the other end into your base like that. So the last thing that you will need is a DAW, a digital audio workstation to control all of this from. It's an app in your iPad and it should be free, which is GarageBand. So go ahead and download GarageBand if you don't already. There's another app that's called Cubasis. I really like this app. It actually costs maybe about 50 bucks. I'm not sure now how much it is, but that's the same thing as just, you know, this on steroids. So let's open up GarageBand. It's the simplest thing. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot everything that I just showed you guys minus the base fit in this bag right here this is one of the best bags i've ever had to travel with i'm in savannah georgia right now i have a gig tonight i'm here for a couple days so i had clothes in here i had the interface ipad i have my laptop i have this big camera that i'm holding right now i have all of that in this bag the link is going to be in the description check it out this literally is the best bag what do they say nowadays no cap no i'm not going to say that anyway best bag ever Okay, now we're all set up. We have our base, we have our headphones so we can hear ourselves and we're inside of GarageBand. Once you open up GarageBand, you just select amp and it'll take you to this. It might be on guitar, but you can select bass if you're playing bass, probably playing bass if you're watching this video. So you might not hear yourself in the beginning when everything is all plugged up and you may be thinking, okay, what's going on? So you go to the input settings, you press that little plug there and it's really, really super simple. Change your channel, make sure the channel is on the right input. I'm in input two on my interface, so I just have to select input two. Also, I want to hear myself and monitor myself. So turn on monitor uh, to hear sound from the input as you play and record. Okay, now you can clearly hear that we have bass coming through. Come on, man, this is, this is dope. So you can hear your bass through your headphones uh, and you can visually see it in the app when you play that sound wave up at the top is turning green. Make sure you're not clipping or anything like that. And then you can just go ahead and record yourself. That's literally as simple as it is. So with GarageBand, you have some limitations, like I said before, and an app that I do like to use is called Cubasis, and it just can do a little bit more than GarageBand, GarageBand does. So you open Cubasis, and it really looks like a DAW really looks very similar to some of the recording software that you may have seen before. So in this, I just recorded, it's the same type of setup. It's just a little bit more, you know, intricate. It's a little bit more detailed of what you can do. Uh, I may go over this at a later date. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys like these type of, of videos. Um, I don't normally do this. Uh, if you're new here, I'm Derek Bennett, instructor of Base Nation Academy. So I'm usually teaching lessons, not doing like, you know, setups and reviews and stuff like this. But anyway, Cubasis is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So at the side of the screen, you can see audio track three and then routing. It's the same as if we just set it up in GarageBand. So the input would be two that I'm on and I select the input two and stereo output one and two. This only selection that you have. Uh, and that's basically it. You can create and add an audio track or a MIDI track. You can delete it. You can duplicate it down at the bottom here. I don't want to do that, so let me delete that. Undo. There it is. Perfect. All right. Undo right there. So perfect. So what I did was I recorded a little something in the beginning um, just to play. So here it is. So 
so just a little something I recorded, created another track on top of it, and just kind of layered it like that. I like doing that kind of stuff. So this is a way to practice. I'm in my hotel room right now. I can actually record my bass. I can actually, I have my laptop here too, but I have both. So if I just wanted to play um, and use my iPad, I can do that as well. I went completely mobile at one time and did not use a laptop for a while. And I was only using an iPad and iPhone. Uh, and this is my setup. This is what I would bring. Anyway, if you guys are interested in the setup, and wondering how it works we can go a little bit deeper inside of that but i just wanted to show you guys that it's possible um you're on the go you're traveling you can be in a coffee shop or i don't know where you would want to play but anyway you could be mobile you could be outside um you don't have to plug in or make sure your ipad is charged but you don't have to plug in anything because the ipad is powering everything that you use so got something out of this give it a like give it a thumbs up make sure you follow comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace